What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RP series. In this episode, we will be fixing some issues that we have left, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first issue that I want to resolve is that we cannot actually 100% kill our AI. We can basically kind of kill it, but it will not ragdoll to the floor and so on. We can only do it with our dummy. Um, so let's go ahead and fix this. Also, let me just drag one into the scene so I can have it. I think that, yeah, I already have one. So let me just reload the level. So here's my AI. Okay. You probably already have one in the scene. If not, you can just go ahead and just drag it. And basically right now, for example, let me set the, the health to be, I don't know, in player stats. Let's open this real quick and put it at two. Just to demonstrate this, okay? And let me just quick just press play. Let me kill it. If I manage to hit him, there we go. And you can see he doesn't die, okay? The health bar goes and the spears and so on, but uh, he doesn't rag door or anything like that. So let's open the AI. And the thing is that we already had everything in set. When we receive damage, well, the AI receives damage. We had the check of is player dead. And so we set up the object type to be fixed body, simulate physics, play time location, basically, and so on. Uh, so what we're going to do is very simple. You just go into the mesh, go down, and then in condition enabled, you just go and put uh, collision enabled, query and physics. And now you will see that we will be able to kill our AI. So now, if I manage again to hit him, there we go. Now <laughs> he basically wrecked those into the floor, and everything is resolved. He plays the animation. So now I want to do an extra thing, and is just go here. Get the character move component and set the movement mode to be none so we will just make sure that 100 percent he will not move okay with that we're great we're, we you know fix that and so that's great um so we should also be able to assassinate the ai if he was to stand still it's gonna be hard but we should we should be able um i mean we can do so with the dummy oh what was the oh right mouse button okay yes so now we can say the ai and you can see now he's there standing still now let's also just quickly uh make the like basically disable the health bar and disable the movement uh when we assassinate the ai so on interfaces stealth back assassin we have everything going on here in the ragdoll so actually let's go in ragdoll and we are going to no i prefer to do that in stealth yeah, so right after all this, let's just paste this and that's it. So, you know, when we assassinate him, the health bar will also disappear and he will not be able to move and so on. It's making things a bit better, right? So another issue that we had is that we cannot tire lock into the AI as you can see, but we can into the dummy. So let's go ahead and fix that. So, so to fix that, we're gonna go into the uh, third person blueprint. And on here, we're gonna go into the tire lock comment, which is in here. In the sphere trace for objects, in the ray, we're gonna add a new pin, and we're gonna say uh, pawn. So now we will also be able to detect pawns. So that should fix the issue. And as you can see, now we can tire lock into our guy here. So we're gonna basically aim him a bit better. Great, so another fix, uh, another issue fix. Let's move on into the next one, which is that basically, let me show you this. So let me delete the AI so it's easier for me to. I showcase uh, so if, uh, if I just go and pick up a weapon go into my equipment system and equip it you can see it's now in my hand and the icon is here I can close it but now when I open it again as you can see the slot the icon of the slot disappears but I still have it equipped so let's go ahead and fix that so we are going to go into the equipment system folder and open up the um, component equipment system component uh, in the equipment menu panel, uh, you can see that we have here the is menu open. So here we have it open, here we have it closed. Well, to close it, right? So instead of directly going and getting this, removing it from the parent and uh, you know, leaving the variable blank, we're going to do it a bit differently. So let's go ahead and remove these two nodes. And what to do is set the visibility of the widget. And as simple as that, and it will be basically um, hidden. So you can play around with different types, but hidden will work great for us. Now another problem with this is that it will still, you know, create the widget every time. 
it only has to be the first time. So it's as simple as getting this. Uh, maybe, yes, try to just get this. Actually, I, I like it how it was placed. Let me just place it here real quick. And let's get all this. So basically until for, uh, the nose before we create the widget, you move a bit to the left. And on here, I'm just going to get the widget variable. Get it? And right click, going to validate it. So right now, if it's valid, it means that it already has been created. So this should be in if it's not valid. And if it's valid, we should just set the visibility of the widget to be um, well, uh, visible. And now we can just plug the rest into the show mouse cursor and so on because we want to set the mode and all that stuff. Let's right click to make this a bit better like this. And honestly, let's try to make a bit more space. So let's select all this, move it more to the left. And now we can place our guy here. We can also use right click and put this the other pin down so it's a bit better. And just move this one to be like on here and make another one to be in here. And now it's a bit better. And now we can just expand the comment, put it back into this place. And now you see that the error should be resolved. So now if I go and press play, pick my sword, open it up, equip it. So you can see the icon is here, I have it equipped. I close, I open it, and still the slot is here, and everything is fine. So another issue we solved, there we go. And let's go into the last issue, uh, which is gonna be right now, but the thing is that I don't have any weapon uh, equipped, but I can still attack my sword animations. We don't want that, so let's just make sure that if we don't have any type of, you know, uh, mesh attack, uh, well, mesh not, but, uh, item uh, equipped, we cannot attack. So let's go again into the third person character blueprint. We can close on that too. And we're gonna go up into the begin play, okay? And right at the end, we don't have any branches, make sure. And, and basically on here, what we are going to do is make a branch. And basically, if, uh, let's go, where's it? Here, so we have the equipped weapon. So if this is equal to none, so you can see it's, you select asset, it's empty. We want to set up our, where's our attack system variable. So actually we can remove the branch and we can just get the attack system component and set can attack. And then we can just go here and put it here. So of course it will be the opposite. So if it's not empty we can attack it um so this is just later on for our saving system and so on um but now as you can see when i press play i cannot well i can't attack that's a bit weird of course it has to be directly here so now we cannot attack all right i don't know why i put it in i, th I thought it was a branch for a second okay so we don't need the not boolean just plug it directly i, I literally just confused nah, i thought it was doing a branch so now we cannot attack as you can see you don't have a weapon but now i can get my weapon go ahead and equip it close it and now yes i can attack as normal as always so that is another issue solved so there you go so that's it guys if you found the tutorial helpful i will share you guys video and subscribe to the channel a lot of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out remember that your prior files will be available in my patreon and youtube members so check it out and also join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.